Hi, this video is about making timber frame joint something like this. So in ARCHICAD it is easiest to place new pieces in, in a section. So I have a zero depth section here. And let's first place uh, the planks uh, 200 millimeters by 200 millimeter. Uh, first one will be the bottom one. So this uh, using this bottom center as anchor point so that it will come to the middle of the section like this. And to get it visible here, uh, you need to rebuild this section. Then uh, the vertical one having the anchor point at the middle. And let's put it to the center of this piece, uh, something like this. Uh, refresh, Control, Alt, Shift, R from keyboard. And then the tilted one about something like this. And refresh. And then let's make this um, like in the example. So it should be something like this. And then let's join, make a thin on joint here. So this will be the other part. And this is the other part of the connection, actually, this tool. So like this. And I have a nice uh, preset here using double T on. I will not go through all this, but uh, <coughs> only uh, describe this tenno length. It contains the double part as well. So 60 millimeter together plus, um, uh, okay, this is the double part. Let's say it will be 30. And housing depth, let's use 20 here. And redefine the preset. Do new. We have it like this, and the same in 3D. We have a look at look at these two parts, showing only this one. So we have the double uh, mortise here, and everything in 3D, and the double team on here. Okay, that was easy. Then uh, the bottom part. Uh, first of all, we'll cut, uh, I'll draw, <coughs> draw a helper line to be able to cut it uh, more exactly. So let's say we want to follow uh, this kind of line when cutting, cutting this piece. And we are going to use cut and join tool. Perpendicular to drawing plane, so perpendicular to this section is the correct way and cut following this line and remove the extra part. So now this is cut as it should be. Then we are going to need helper pieces. To, we, we need to make two grooves to cut this away. So make a block and this time make it uh, bigger than the target to be sure that it will be cut away totally. Center bottom, remember that uh, this piece is going to be placed, or the reference line is the section line, and the middle, uh, the anchor point is in the middle of the planks, so it will be in the middle of the section. So let's add a first cutting piece here and make it long enough to be sure that it cuts everything away. And let's see uh, the, the whole situation in 3D. So this looks like nice cutting piece. Let's use this tool because we don't want to link this uh, helper piece uh, and uh, the target target of the groove together. We just make a, make a cut and then we can delete or hide this helper piece. So this target piece and this is uh, the cutting piece. And then let's make the groove. And now we have the first groove here. If we have a look at look at this. So the first one. And in the section here you see that we need to make still one. Okay, I made a mistake <coughs> drawing this uh, too short. So let's uh, fix fix this like this. And then well, I'll remove this manually. I could just create another one and this would be automatically removed. 
but let's make it this way so operator and this uh, the cutting piece uh, with zero oversizes now it is correct and then we need to draw another one helper piece here okay i take the settings from here and then <coughs> add a new one in this direction locking the angle and let's make it big enough and refresh and let's check in 3d that it is correct it looks like fine and to the group tool and the cutting piece and cut with this so now we have two grooves here and we can hide these let's see if we have some hidden Yes, that we can actually then even hide. And let's see these uh, three parts in Hundeger. And first we need to give IDs to this. So it's uh, starting with 100. Okay, so let's go with these settings and let's see the resulting file. So this is uh, the horizontal part. Uh, the column and the beam. Thank you.